hands. Show me hands. Show me hands. If you move, I'm going to shoot you. You understand me? Get out. I'm buckling. Get out. Climb out. Alongside a hot cup of tea, gear up for an exhilarating adventure on the streets through a video of high-speed pursuits of suspects. It promises to be an unforgettable experience and an opportunity to gain a deeper understanding of the challenging work of law enforcement. His stolen Isuzu truck was reported heading south near Futon Street. The police activated emergency devices and attempted to halt the vehicle, but the driver quickly fled. Law enforcement issued a stop order, but the daring driver evaded through various lanes, narrowly avoiding collisions with other vehicles. Numerous cars were on the road, posing a significant challenge to intervene and stop the truck. As the stolen vehicle decelerated and noticed reduced traffic, the police executed a pit maneuver from behind, causing the driver to lose control. The truck spun and crashed into a nearby barrier before overturning. Officers tried to break the windshield to extricate the suspect. The driver was apprehended without further incident immediately after. He's good. Oh, okay, he's good. Appreciate it. Stolen vehicle identified while traveling on the highway sparked immediate action from patrolling officers. As the patrol lights and sirens activated, the suspect's vehicle swiftly evaded onto a deserted road. The police promptly closed in from behind, closely monitoring the fleeing vehicle through every turn. Another patrol unit joined the pursuit, taking over as the primary chasing unit. Intervention from behind was executed as the suspect was speeding. Due to the high velocity, the driver lost control, colliding with the median between two lanes. Show me hands! Show me hands! Show me hands! If you move, I'm gonna shoot you! You understand me? Get out! I'm buckling, get out! Climb out! Get out! Get out! I can't, hold on. So help me out here, we're gonna be dragging out. The suspect was apprehended on the spot. Upon inspection, no illicit substances were found. After seeking legal assistance, the individual faced numerous charges, theft, reckless driving, and driving without a license. Subsequently, they were transferred to the local detention center. Hey, it was a cab, but my life just almost ended. Well, they come up when they got me twice for criminal trespasses, racist bitches, indirect racist bitches. A high-speed motorcycle is zooming down the road, clocking 109 miles per hour, exceeding the allowed speed. Oh, 
The police using radar confirm the current speed. The patrol lights and siren activate as the motorbike accelerates to 120 miles per hour. The rider alternate speed, daringly overtaking a truck without signaling. As the rider slows down, the police notice the unconventional method. Steering with the right hand, left hand off the handle, tucked into the chest pocket. Upon closing in, the police swiftly approach, resulting in a gentle collision with the motorcycle. The officer disembarks, conducting a thorough check on the motorcyclist. I got a medic rolling. Keep your hands where I can see them. I got a medic rolling, okay? Where you hurt at? Where you hurt at? Your shoulder? Subsequently, an ambulance is called. Unfortunately, the suspect faces serious charges, evading arrest, reckless driving, drug-related offenses, and refusal to undergo a chemical test. Hurt, yeah. tender. Oh, right, right. Oh, it hurts up here. Just up here. So it hurts up oh, here, just yeah. in your shoulder. Yeah. Oh, oh, your shoulder's dislocated. Oh no. <laughs> no. It's okay. Can you feel my hand yeah. down here? Okay. So yeah, we're we're good. You're just dislocated. <laughs> I had a really good teacher. Trust me. He's no longer here, but I had a really good teacher. A gray Volkswagen passenger van involved in a theft at a Texas convenience store is now being pursued by law enforcement. The vehicle ran a red light heading south on Richmond Avenue, constantly changing directions. Despite the police activating emergency lights and sirens, the van continued its attempt to flee. The patrol reported the pursuit situation to the police center. The chase remained intensely dramatic as the van recklessly maneuvered through traffic, nearly causing collisions with other vehicles. The suspect's vehicle suddenly turned onto a narrow street below. At that moment, another police unit arrived promptly to respond. The high-speed pursuit continued, and it seemed like an opportune moment to perform an immediate pit maneuver. The suspect's vehicle veered into a ditch and overturned shortly after. Hey, stay at your door! Hey, no, stay at your door! Open the door! Come out! Step out the vehicle! Get, get out the vehicle! Law enforcement instructed the driver to exit the vehicle from the passenger side. The apprehended suspect sustained minor injuries. Drive one ten fifteen. Y'all, y'all go all the way to the back door on the other side, or it's open. I don't see nothing. Everybody's. On November 27, 2023, a Florida Highway Patrol trooper was traveling north on Avalon Boulevard near Interstate 10 when they expect unexpectedly spotted a deputy's patrol car on the side of the road. A deputy informed them that there were two flat tires, while other deputies were in the pursuit of a potentially impaired driver. This event required the trooper to immediately join the pursuit to assist their colleagues and catch up with the fleeing vehicle.
As the patrol team converged, the trooper became the primary force in this chase, and the trooper issued a stop order. But the driver not only disregarded the order, but also continued to drive at high speeds, even opening the rear trunk. This is the Florida Highway Patrol, pulling over, you're going in the And recognizing the necessity for the intervention, the trooper decided to perform the intervention maneuver to stop the vehicle. The first intervention attempt was unsuccessful. But the trooper was undeterred. The second intervention attempted was successful at the suspect's vehicle lost control and veered off the road. Despite the suspect attempt to flee the vehicle, he was eventually apprehended not far from the sea. The subject, identified as Patrick Kohler, is facing corruption, $7,500 bond, possession $1,500 bond, driving under the influence each, totaling $1,000 bond. Patrick is assigned a total bond. On August 23, 2022, around 6.40 a.m., the Jacksonville Regional Communications Center announced that the theft of a vehicle moving north on Interstate 75 at mile marker 350 The police activated lights and sirens as the stolen vehicle improperly charged lanes and across all three lanes. The suspect displayed blatant disregard, paying no attention to the traffic safety. Both patrol cars continued to pursue the vehicle north on Interstate 75.
The suspect's vehicle moved on to CR-234 and continued north without stopping at the stop sign. Continuing with dramatic events, the pursuit transferred multiple areas, prompting law enforcement to deploy restrictive measures. And finally, around 7.27 a.m., Trooper J. Beers de Jesus arrested the suspect, identified as Brandon James Barker. Barker resiliently attempts to evade the pursuit and erase any traces created in an exciting and challenging chase. A Honda car without rear lights moving on the highway was signaled by the police to pull over. However, the driver decided to turn it into a high-speed pursuit. The vehicle overtook other reckless at a high speed, requiring the police to make accurate decisions when intervening to stop the car.
the daring driver ran a red light despite oncoming traffic. And as soon as the guard turned left into the deserted road, the police decided to intervene from behind the suspect's vehicle, closely tailing it and preventing the driver from moving. The driver was instructed to exit the vehicle. It turned out to be a woman, unsurprisingly audacious. She cautiously continuously screamed, but it was too late for the consequences of her actions. Let's see which vehicle the patrol police will pursue this time. Military personnel are updating the situation through the radio as the pursuit begins. A silver car is fleeing at a high speed, reaching 75 miles per hour. Another patrol car has joined the pursuit, and after a period of chasing, the officer has become the lead unit in this pursuit. Continuous communication during the pursuit allows the officers to report the situation for timely and accurate decision-making. 
The use of the intervention tactics require choosing the right time to minimize unnecessary risks. And the suspect vehicle turns into a forest, making the pursuit challenging with gravel scattered on the road. The suspect ultimately had to stop when his car encountered a problem. He was apprehended immediately without an injury. On the night of Friday, January 19, 2023, around 11.29 p.m., highway patrol officers were preparing to conduct speed measurements using radar. While observing the traffic moving eastbound, a white Toyota Corolla raced by at a speed of 102 miles per hour, exceeding the speed limit of 75 miles per hour. Immediately, the patrol team entered into the federal highway, attempting to stop the vehicle. And the police car approached from behind, activated emergency lights, but the suspect refused to yield and continued to flee to the east. A situation report was promptly communicated to the Team B Communications. And the suspect's vehicle not only ignored signals, but also continued to flee at speeds exceeding 100 miles per hour, posing a danger to themselves and those around them. The officer decided to implement a tactical vehicle intervention. However, the situation became more challenging as the suspect turned clockwise around the front of the patrol car and collided with the police vehicle. The suspect's vehicle came to a stop in the forested area south of Interstate 40. Come out! The suspect was apprehended immediately without any injuries, and the suspect vehicle was reported stolen in Memphis, Tennessee. Both suspects were transported to the Prairie County Jail without further incident. I was, I 
I'm sorry, I'm gonna turn my right. Rain. Once again, there was a pursuit of a stolen vehicle on Highway 89 in Mayflower, Faulkner County. On January 21, 2023, the Arkansas State Police received a distress call regarding the pursuit of a stolen vehicle on the highway. Upon receiving the information, the patrol team immediately arrived at the scene and assesses the situation. The pursuit, accompanied by blaring sirens, heightened the tension of the situation. The speeding exceeding 100 miles per hour, the police vehicles did not back down. An officer and a patrol car took the lead in this pursuit, not allowing the suspect to escape easily, and various intervention tactics were attempted. But the suspect skillfully evaded them. Finally, with the front bumper, the patrol car forcefully collided with the rear of the suspect's vehicle. The vehicle lost control and ran into an empty lot. The suspect intended to flee the vehicle, but the patrol officers intervened in time. The pursuit came to an end. Can you believe that this incredible chase involved the female suspect? Thanks to the courageous law enforcement officers who performed exceptionally well in this mission. During a routine patrol, Savannah police officers identified a silver Honda Accord reported as stolen. The vehicle was heading north on Liberty Parkway at an intersection with Stanley Avenue, a few cars ahead of the patrolling officer. Activating the emergency lights and a daring pursuit ensued. However, the suspect and the stolen vehicle resisted and fled at high speeds on Liberty Parkway. The reckless car violated traffic loads, ran red lights and even drove into oncoming traffic to turn west onto Georgia 26. After several close calls, the vehicle finally collided with a parked yellow Mitsubishi Lancer in a hotel parking lot. The out-of-control vehicle crashed into the fence and the, the driver jumped out, starting to rut. The police deployed a taser and successfully apprehended the suspect. And upon inspecting the vehicle, the Chanham County Police found drugs on Mrs. Flake's person and in the car. After reading her Miranda rights, the police engaged in a dialogue with the suspect, but she seemed to be under the influence of stimulants and refused to cooperate. She was arrested for co questioning and transported to the Chatham Coding Jail.
getting tired. He said, I'm on the way. And then he said, the map. A highly dramatic pursuit is about to unfold on the highway in Starker between a police car and a traffic violator. As they enter the highway, the police car activates its emergency sirens and requests the vehicle to head to Bloma. However, there are no signs of the driver stopping, and a brief report has been communicated to the patrol unit. Another police car from the patrol team has joined the pursuit, and the fleeing vehicle starts to speed, surpassing all the traffic stops, regardless of the danger, and continues to evade. And despite numerous other vehicles on the road, the suspect shows no intention of stopping. The vehicle makes a constant turn, and his patrolling officer keeps updating the patrol unit about the situation, allowing them to plan interventions to stop the traffic offender. Intervention was carried out at the end of the highway when the suspect intended to change lanes. The pursuit came to an end and the suspect subsequently received medical assistance without any serious injuries. An employee at a truck stop on the outskirts of Chicago uncovered a man armed and intent of robbing a bank. The store employee promptly alerted the police that the suspect had left the scene in a white SUV and after reviewing security camera footages and identifying the suspect's vehicle, police began tracking and reporting its location and direction to other colleagues. After extensive efforts, the police located a fleeing white SUV heading west, and during the pursuit, the driver exhibited aggerated and aggravating dangerous behavior. 
frequently taking breaks and even throwing firearms out of the passenger window. The tensions escalated as the vehicle lost the tire. The suspect began to lose control, and on the snowy stretch of road, the white SUV flipped over while still in motion. Hang on, hang on, don't run at it. Yeah, the suspect then fled the vehicle on foot, but through the efforts of law enforcement and their coordination, he was apprehended not far from the scene. He faced multiple serious charges, including motor vehicle theft, fleeing, armed robbery, and unlawful use of weapons. Okay. 
Thank you for visiting our video where excitement and suspense come together to create special moments. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel to explore more interesting content with us. See you in the next episodes.